Welcome to my video update on the development progress for the Steam VR simulation of the 1851 Great Exhibition. We start this update in the British Sculpture Court, which we first visited in video number 12, when we saw The Greek Huntsman by John Gibson. Several other sculptures have now been added to this room. Only a few of the pieces have their location within the room recorded. However, they are numbered in the exhibition catalogue, so we have arranged them in numerical order, anti-clockwise from right to left. Over 80 pieces are recorded in the catalogue, so gaps have been left in the hope we can fill in many of the others. First we have The Drunken Fawn by Irish sculptor John Hogan. This work is now in the sculpture galleries of the Crawford Art Gallery in Cork. Next is Sabrina by Scottish sculptor William Calder Marshall. The original of this piece is believed lost. However, a mould, reportedly located in Rochester, Vermont, was used to create a copy, now located at the Octagon on Roosevelt Island, New York. Next up is Paolo and Francesca by Scottish sculptor Alexander Munro. This work is now in the Birmingham Museum and Art Gallery. In the corner is The Pet Dove's Return by Irish sculptor James Farrell. This work is now in the foyer of the Crawford Art Gallery in Cork, under the title Boy with Dove. The last item added to this room for this update is The Prodigal's Return by English sculptor William Theed. This piece is now in the Lincoln Museum and Usher Gallery, under the title The Prodigal Son. Moving out of the British Sculpture Court, via the currently empty Canada Court and back to the nave, we come to The Faithful Friend of Man Trampling Underfoot His Most Insidious Enemy by English painter and sculptor Matthew Coates Wyatt. This is a model of the favourite pet dog, Bashaw, of John William Ward, 1st Earl of Dudley. However, he died before the work was complete, and Wyatt never managed to sell it. It passed through various hands until 1960, when it was acquired by the Victoria and Albert Museum, where it remains on display today. We now move towards the Crystal Fountain and into the South Transept, where we encounter Puck, one of five works displayed together, by English sculptor John Graham Locke. On the left is Duncan's Horses, a small group in bronze. A plaster version of this is at the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. Then the four pieces representing characters from A Midsummer Night's Dream, from left to right, Oberon, Ariel, Puck and Titania. Of these four, so far only Puck has been located, currently on display in an alcove of the entrance hall stairs of the Victoria and Albert Museum. Moving to the north transept we encounter Apollo Belvedere. Many sculptors have tackled this subject. The one at the Great Exhibition was by Bruciani, and differed from the version here in that his modesty was protected by a leaf. The version here is part of the collection of the State Museum of Art in Copenhagen, but is not open to the public on a regular basis. Moving back into the nave, and travelling east, we first encounter Cain and his race cursed by God, by French sculptor Antoine E. Tex, currently on display at the Musée des Beaux-Arts, Lyon. This represents the curse placed on Cain by God after he killed Abel. Turning round, we encounter The Genius of the Hunt, by French sculptor Jean-Baptiste Joseph de Bay. This piece is now on display in the Louvre Museum in Paris. A little further east we encounter another statue of Torments of Cain, by Belgian sculptor Louis Jehot, now in the garden of the Palace of the Academies in Brussels. Finally for this update, we move into the foreign sculpture court, to which three pieces have been added. The first of these, The Circassian Slave, by Italian sculptor Raphael Monti, a statuette version of which is currently on display at the Wallace Collection in London. Next is The Panther Hunter, by Danish sculptor Jens Adolf Jerichai. This piece is currently on display at the State Museum of Art in Copenhagen. The last piece here is actually not the piece from the Great Exhibition, but a similar piece of the same subject. Susanna at the Bath, by Antonio Galli is in the collection of Veneranda Biblioteca Ambrosiana, Milan, but is not on display and hence is not accessible. The model here is of the same subject by Irish sculptor James Heffernan. This work is on display at the Crawford Art Gallery in Cork. Watch out for my next video, which will look at how accurate it is possible to make this simulation and how the various museums and galleries around the world are helping to make this VR simulation possible.